People deluded, I'm back again. Now, I like youth football. Uh, you know, in another world, Jude Bellingham and Tadith Chong would have actually been teammates. Apparently, United wanted him. He visited the training facilities. For whatever reason, he went to Dortmund. You don't know, Chong signed a new deal not too long ago at United. And there was a lot of speculation as to whether he would stay. He's gone on a two-year loan spell to Werder Bremen. For United, you're hoping that he really comes up heaps and bounds in them two years. And he returns a dramatically better player. If not... He puts himself in the shop window to be moved on for a sizable fee. And obviously, they've cut, they've tied down his contract so they can move him on. Um, they've both been speaking really and truly. Um, and I like to hear young players speak about their situations and stuff. Bellingham said, no, it's not really... In relation to his transfer fee, he said, no, not really. It's always nice to have um, BVB putting that much faith in me. But for me, the pressure I put on myself is more than the pressure of any price tag or expectation from any media outlet. I will try and do my best for me and this is the, and the club, regardless of the price tag. I want to achieve everything possible, but you have to be realistic. I think the way this club is moving, I think we can definitely try and challenge for the title as we have done in the last few years. We'll try our best to do that. It's a huge club with an amazing fan base. I think they deserve titles and trophies. Obviously, I can't guarantee that, but I will say that I'll give everything to try and achieve that. The hardest thing about leaving Birmingham was because I've, I'd had been there for so long. It felt like they were a massive part of me, being a fan and then working my way up all through the academy and playing for the first team. But in life, you have to take opportunities and this is a huge one for me to come and play for such a big club. It wasn't a hard one in terms of a decision for me to make to come here. And that's it, you know. And I, you lot know me, I've got a lot of time for Drew Bellingham. You know, he's very mature for his age, does a lot of things with charity, take everything in his stride, doesn't let the media hype and pressure get to him. And that's what he needs to do because he it's only going to be more speculation. The same people praising him now are going to hang him out to dry when he's having an occasional bad period and things. That's why I think going to Dortmund's the best thing for him. Going and getting games, you know. He's, he made a crap load of appearances for Dortmund. I mean, for Birmingham. Now he's going to do the same for Dortmund, give himself an education. If he went to Man United straight away, the, the amount of speculation and hot takes with every good and bad performance, it's not healthy. It's not healthy and you can't stop that. But I, that's one thing I hate for all the young players, people. But it's nice to see. In relation to Chong, Chong's been doing a bit of reflecting in relation to why it didn't work out as much as he thought at United initially. He said... Um, he said he admits his form at Manchester United has not been good enough with the, young, with the youngster hoping that a long spell at Bremen will allow him to find a spot. Chong has taken in 16 competitive appearances for the Red Devils but is yet to truly mark his, his stay in the first team. He intends to prove what he is capable of during a stint in Germany. He said, I love to go and dribble in 1v1 situations but I didn't perform in the games in Manchester as I would have liked. The focus is now entirely on Werder Bremen on playing a good season with the team. The club's history and reputation for helping players like Gnabry and De Bruyne advance their careers is always good to hear. So I'm sure this is the right place to continue my development. And I still think there's a player in Strong and I think it's a bit ironic. You know, you look at Reese Nelson, Callum Hudson-Odoi and Tadif Strong at one point, you know, they were all seen respectively as... And there were other players, but the next ones up were that when they're exposed to first team, it's a, it's a formality. And they've all kind of struggled for whatever reason it's been, you know. I think they all struggle for confidence. I don't think they all make speed or thought. Maybe when you're playing at 23's level and you're running rings around people and you're not really having to think about doing it, it's hurt them. Because now when you have to be more calculated, they're all struggling. Whether it's expectations, consistency, form, they're all young. But this is how football works, you know. You could imagine, ironically, there's players that probably weren't gassed up as much in, in all three respective academies that are having more, more game time and more enjoyment and I back all three players that I've just mentioned to have success but it's early days. In relation to Bellingham that man's going straight to the top. I firmly think in the next two years he's going to be an England regular and I don't think he's going to be at Dortmund long. He'll be at Dortmund as long as he wants you know. I think he's going straight to the top. You know me I don't gas up young players but it's hard not to speak with pride and praise for Jude Bellingham because he's a player I just really love and got a lot of time for. On that note, though, I'm going to kick out of here, though, man. Thank you for watching. DG, I'm out.